Hello YouTube. Um, so today is November 5th. Um, and so it's Guy Fox Day in England. And um, if you live there and this is something you celebrate, please celebrate safely tonight. Um, don't fall in any bonfires. Um, so today is day five of my um, 30 videos in 30 days challenge for the month of November, which is Transgender Awareness Month. Um, last year when I did this, I had struggled to come up with um, topics for each day. So after I finished that project, I found this 30 day trans challenge on DeviantArt. And there'll be a link below if you would like to um, do this yourself. Um, so yeah, so you know, we're up to question number five. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, I promise you that these pajamas are clean. Uh, but I love them, and so pretty much as soon as they come out of the wash, uh, I wear them uh, at the first opportunity. So, you know, I thought about changing, and then I said, fuck it, this is me and my house, and I'll wear whatever the fuck I want. So, welcome to my videos. Um, right, so, question number five is, are you active in the trans community or the LGBT community? And the simple answer really is no, I'm not. Um... I feel like I ought to be sometimes. Um, I, I kind of feel guilty for not being more involved um, because I'm middle class and um, you know rather privileged. And I, you know, as I talked about in my family video uh, yesterday, I'm extremely lucky and I am able to support myself and support my family. Um, so I feel guilty that I haven't leverage that for people who don't have that same benefit, but um, right now all I, I can do, um, just just for you know, what energy and wherewithal I have, is, um, is really make these videos and um, run by gender.net, which I started three and a half years ago. Um, most of the activity takes place on the forums, that was the, the original um, you know, uh, feature of the site. Um, and then, so it just hit three and a half years. It'll be four years in April. Um, after it was up for a year, I added a dream width installation, which if you're familiar with dream width or live journal, it's, it's one of those. Um, and you know, anyone can come and make a journal. It's, uh, it, it requires a, um, an invitation code because otherwise I get a bunch of spammers. So if you would like a journal there, um, you can use invitation code tubing you, T U B I N G Y O U, all one word. Um, and you can set the privacy to as private or as public as you like. Um, you can create communities and interact with people. Um, you can also, um, if you have a live journal or a dream with, you can link them so that when you upload at BGN, it publishes out across posts to your other sites or vice versa. Um, let's see, accepts open ID if that's something that someone has. Um, but most of the activity actually happens on the forum. And we've got something like, I don't know, 850, 2000 people have signed up over the years. Um, there are not that many active. I think the most active we ever have at one time is 60 or so. Um, but there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of posts and, and resources that are there. And, and I see resources. It's not like, where can I find a doctor or, um, you know, a support group or something. It's more a support group in and of itself. It's a place to find, you know, other people who sort of feel the same way you do maybe and, and explore who you are in a place that's safe. At least I hope it's safe. Um, honestly, I'm I've I've been struggling with it myself lately. Uh, I'm feeling a little burnt out with some other stuff that's going on, so I've not been as involved as I need to be, and um, I apologize for that. For those of you who are on the forum already and feel neglected, I am sorry. Um, so I do that. I do these videos which I've had people send me really nice messages about. Um, and 
I'm on Tumblr, and I, I don't mean, I mean, I don't, I'm not really involved in much in Tumblr. I just sort of reblog um, things that people who are smarter than me say. Um, let's see. Um, that's, that's about it. I, I, the only thing I can really do is, is have an online presence, because I have two kids, so, you know, I have to be mindful of not harming their experience growing up with school and friends and, and everything else, and, um, uh, you know, not a, not, I don't want them to get bullied because their dad's trans, that's really what that comes down to. Um, I don't want to put my job at risk because, um, I'm the only, I'm certainly the major breadwinner in, you know, this household. Um, so it, it would be really difficult if, you know, I lost my job and couldn't find work. Um, so I have to mitigate that risk as well. Um, gosh, um, I don't know. Uh, I do occasionally go to um, meetings for a group called uh, No Boys Allowed in Chicago. Um, they meet the second and fourth Tuesdays of every month from 6.30 to 8.15, I think. Um, and it's a, basically it's a support group for um, male assigned at birth people um, who are transgender. Um, I think that's the phrasing they landed on. They, they had initially said trans feminine people, um, but felt that that was excluding some folks who might otherwise um, want to go. Um, I've had a couple of good experiences there. I, I don't get to go as often as, as I would want to because, sorry, my dog's under the desk doing things. Um, I don't get to go as often as I would want to because, um, I live in the suburbs, so sometimes hitting the timing, uh, with traffic and, and errands and school and, and things like that makes it a little difficult, um, to make it on time. It's at the Uptown Library on, um, Oh crap, I'm blanking on the name of the street now. Corona? I think it's on Corona. Um, <clears throat> in Uptown. Um, of course, if you're in Chicago, that's relevant to you. And if you're not, then sorry. Um, I do that. I've gone to Gender Career Chicago meetings. Um, I haven't been to those in a really long time because um, it's really a safe space for kids who are younger than for people who are younger than me. And I just turned 35. So my experience and the experience of these young queer 20 somethings uh, is entirely different, you know, and, and, um, I don't feel like I have as much to contribute there. Um, gosh, I guess that's all. I don't really, I don't know. I feel like I don't do anything as far as, um, uh, being involved in, in LGBT community, um, or the trans community, I'm just another small voice in a big crowd, I think. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This question makes me feel weird. Like I'm not doing anything, but I guess I can only do what I can do. Anyway, um, that's it for me today. Um, you can send me, you can leave me comments here. Please do, I love them. Uh, you can send me messages um, up in the, no, over there, up in the um, inbox or, you know, how, whatever YouTube's mail system is. Uh, you can send me mail at brinitbygender.net. You can join by gender.net and talk to me there. Um, find me on Tumblr, Brin Convenient, also on Twitter, at Brin Convenient, although I kind of go through hot and cold phases of Twitter, but. Um, yeah, if you already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please consider. Um, I will be doing these all month long. So thank you.